some requirements to automate a client work with a dynamic block that has a length divided by by the value the nv and then also will have the length of this um, horizontal line over here he also will need different type for the st as 20 st25 and so on he was doing all of this manually as you can see using lines text and so on this is a specific example for a reinforcement concrete slab but you can use the same techniques or procedures and implement it in your block i'm going to select all of this geometry and simply type v um, to create a block here so let's click ok and i'm going to click there so i'm going to open this block now and go to my block editor so here comes the fun part how can we get the length of this line so we can do it by starting implementing some parameters i'm going to add the linear parameter from my block authoring palette if you don't see it is here on your ribbon authoring palette so i'm gonna click on it and that's it there so the linear parameter so following instructions i had to specify a start point which i wanted to be exactly here and then i need to specify my end point so i want it to be exactly here so that's my my linear parameter and finally i'm going to specify the label about there i need to somehow add a feature to stretch this line and the way i'm going to do it is using the stretch action so if we use the stretch action uh, what we can do is we can specify a parameter the parameter is here the distance one so i'm going to click that and then the associated point uh, let's start with this one at the top so i'm gonna click there and next it's asking for the stretch frame so that's the part that we need to stretch i'm gonna create it from here all the way about here and then i'm gonna select my options which are all of these and finally press enter okay now we're gonna do you can see that a stretch action shows up here i'm gonna add another one and doing the same steps selecting the parameter the associated point the frame and finally the objects not only uh, need this to stretch but we need to get the length of this line somehow and why do we need the length well because we need the nb value to be divided by 210 and input that value about here and now that's not happening okay so let's try to do that let's close the block or test block the way i'm gonna do it is by clicking over here and get inside the text and i'm gonna select this number four and i'm gonna click on it and i'm gonna say insert field fields are smart text um, of information that can be updated automatically or even uh, using the regen command or regenerate uh, in AutoCAD. Now, in order to divide this value by 210, we will need a formula because that's a basic math calculation. If we click on this formula space, we have an option to insert a field. And if we select that option, we will have another dialog box. So basically, we are inserting a field inside another field. I know it's a little crazy, but that's the only way we can get the length of that line and then also add a mass calculation. So over here, what I like to do is select the object option. And I'm going to select this icon here to select my object you know the object would be this line so i'm gonna click or select that line and when i do that i will get the properties from that line you can see it and the property that i'm interested in is the length that's the property that i'm interested in would be the length um so i'm gonna select that and click okay click okay 
And once I have that, I'm going to add the uh, the division because that's the client request and it did the length needs to be divided by 210 now let's see what happened when i click evaluate that's that's the preview that we will have and the value doesn't doesn't look quite then we can multiply all of these values by using this parenthesis symbol and we can multiply that by a hundred. So once we do that and click evaluate, we will have a, a different number over here. There will be an option or a, over here for current precision. So let's select uh, the first one and then click OK. So once we do that, we're closer, but we will need to show uh, the length of this other thicker line. OK, and this is the line that we need. So we can apply the same idea or principles using this linear parameter. Now let's add or implement the length value to show up over here for this line. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so we can use a field. We used it before for this first line. Why not using it for this other one? And I can click OK. So I'm going to press enter to accept that. Now, another requirement by my client was that he needs different uh, type of panels, right? Or he have S20, S25 and so on. So we need to add that also. Um, and if we go under the parameters options, we have a visibility parameter. And let's use that because that's uh, one of the best ways to add different options to a block. I'm going to specify my parameter point about here. Now we have this visibility states now available. If we click on it, we will have this dialog box where we can input some different options. So then I'm going to click OK. So now uh, what we can do is we will have these different options here now. Now to make this, you can see now ST40 is showing a value of 25 and that's not. So let's see how we can fix this. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to select one of these text and I'm going to copy that with the shortcut control shift and C the copy base shortcut control shift C and I'm going to copy it from this line over here like so. So on S40, what I like to do is change this value to 40. That makes sense. So that's the correct value there. But look what happened when I go and change it to ST35. The S40 is still there and we don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it from, from this ribbon and it says make invisible. So I'm going to click that and make it invisible. And now I can paste my text and simply change the value to ST35. So that means when I go to ST40, that's ST40. And when I go to 35, that's ST35. Great. So we can do the same procedure for the other one. So let's close the block editor. This is a final test. I'm going to save the changes. These block techniques were great, but this is the technique that improved my workflow forever.